Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. It's currently the 26th of October, which means that the V8s are back this weekend and I am so excited for it. It's literally been waiting three years for it to come back. It is the Gold Coast 500 this year, so they're doing 100Ks less. In previous years when myself and my family would stay up in surface for the V8s, we would book from a Wednesday to Monday because we'd normally have, like, just take the five days off, right? This year's a little bit different. I'm only a month into my new job at the moment. My parents are going away. So yeah, things are just a little bit different this year. This afternoon, after I finish work, I'm gonna go straight up to Surface and pick the keys up for the apartment. Go up, check it out, and just make sure it's all good. Good afternoon. Oh, I don't know if you can hear my radio or not. So I've obviously finished work for the day, and I'm currently sitting in a lot of traffic because I'm working down south and I've got to go all the way up to surface. It says that it will take me an hour and 10 minutes. So that's great. <laughs> Just because there's so much traffic and it, yeah, it's literally like peak hours, 4 p.m. Queensland. I am normally the most organized person you will ever meet. Like I will pack for a trip a week in advance, always. <laughs> For the Mel Dives, I had my whole suitcase, almost my whole suitcase packed and ready to go, like literally a week or two before. But I just have not had time the past few weeks, so I've been at my new job nearly a month now, and it's just, it's been pretty hectic. It's, it's definitely been a lot to learn and take in, and I had two training, two very full-on all-day training days, Monday, Tuesday. And that's all I've done this week. Like, it's just, yeah, it's been a lot. Finally, back at the Gold Coast 500 after three years. So it should be very exciting. I know that I, I am very excited. Like, I cannot wait to get back in the atmosphere on Friday. Like, oh, I've just been waiting so long for this. I have finally made it to the apartment. What a mission that was. Honestly, it took me over an hour to drive up here. And then I had to pick the keys up because it's kind of like an Airbnb style apartment. Like it's with a company that rents out apartments within Surface. So anyway, I had to go and find their office, which was fine, parked in the loading zone, went and got my keys really quickly, come back to the car and there's this map in the like envelope that it had my keys and stuff in. I had the map of how to get into the apartment and it was just so confusing reading it. Turn right here, then you go left, but you gotta go past reception, past the waterfall, up this ramp and stuff. And I I was so lost reading it and I literally drove around the car park for about 20 minutes trying to figure out where the hell I was and what level I needed to be on because there's three towers within the one car park and you have to park in the right tower spot to find your exact car park. Anyway. Like I said, what a mission that was. Literally took me an hour and a half. It's now quarter past five and I left work around quarter to four. Probably even a bit earlier than that. How cool is that? Like we can literally see part of the track again. Good morning, it's Friday. First day of the races today. It's all practices today, which is kind of nice because we get a bit more of a chill day because Saturday, Sunday are pretty full on. For some reason, I woke up at like 5.30 this morning and didn't get back to sleep. And got our wooden sign set up. It's a very nice, warm, sunny day today, which is amazing. We've got some beautiful weather for the racing. So, we're gonna go find some breakfast. I'm gonna get changed first because I am still, still in my pajamas. It's only 7.30, um, so yeah, we have a pit walk at 10 a.m. We found a little cafe just down the road, so we got a sausage roll to share, and we found these cookies there from Milkman's, Milkman's, and they're really good. We've got the Nutella one to try. We are all ready to go. I've got my little hold on lanyard on, my shirt. We're gonna go walk to the track, hopefully. It's 10 past nine. Our pit walk's at 10 o'clock, so we've got to go. On our way to the track. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear me. 
definitely not as confident public vlogging now that I was before. We have made it to the track. Will has stole my sunnies because he forgot his. <laughs> We're down at the very end of the track at the moment, so we have to kind of go like into the middle of the track, over the bridge, and into the middle of Macintosh Island for our pit walk. A fair bit of walking today, but that's fine. And then we're going to find somewhere shady to sit down and watch some of the practices. track now I am wrecked we came back around lunchtime um, had something to eat went to Coles got some water and stuff because we were so thirsty and I had a bit of a headache so we came back and then we left at one o'clock to go back for like the last three practices I think there was the Porsches the S5000s and the V8s so we watched those we also watched some on-track entertainment I vlogged bits and pieces of my phone I didn't really get my camera out the second time though they're the army helicopters. There is so many people down at Kelly Beach right now. And for those who've been to the V8s many years ago, you would know that, oh, where am I? The pits are down here. And they would come all the way down through down this main street here and turn this corner and go literally right past this hotel, like in front of it, and then back down the beachfront. Imagine if that track was still there, like we would have such a good view. Because of the tram, they'll never have that sort of a track again. Good morning. It's Saturday. I feel very tired after I'm up. About to do my makeup and get ready for day two. Are we all matching today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. You're not matching already. Well, yeah, because I didn't know if we were all matching. No, it's going to be hard. I'm still half asleep, but I'm gonna put some makeup on, have something to eat, and then we should be all ready to go. 7.30, we did sleep in a lot more today, which was nice. We didn't get up till like seven o'clock, so. Yeah, ready for another big day. I'm here, we woke up to again. We're currently walking to the track. Well, we've got the G across from, to the stop across from Macintosh, and now we're walking to the track. Huh? Yeah, but did you see how many people were trying to get in the gate?
when they all come in. Official shirt on, my holding lanyard on, my camera, hat, and I'm all ready to go. Such a beautiful day as I had today. How stunning.
It's currently two weeks later and I realised that I never finished off the V8s vlog. I didn't, I don't, honestly don't think I vlogged that much while we were at the track. Like I really tried to but considering it was the first time they were back in literally three years, I just really wanted to enjoy it. Yeah, it was just really nice to spend time with my family and not have my camera out all the time. But I did vlog bits and pieces and yeah, we we're pretty much just drinking beer, <laughs> eating and watching cars all day, which was honestly, it was just the perfect weekend. Like it was, it was exactly what I needed. And yeah, I just, I loved every second of it and so happy that I organized to go. Overall, it was an amazing weekend. Like I said, loved every second of it. And it's the last year of Holden as well. I think I mentioned that earlier in this vlog. So yeah, it was just really kind of special in a way. But anyway, that is my weekend at the V8. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed myself. So yeah. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!